Chapter 1281, Help Du Jingdong, Gunning took out her phone at once to search for the news about Du Jingdong. She soon found out a lot of news about the horrible news and there were many photos of the injured Du Jingdong on the internet as well. Although Du Jingdong's face was pixelated, Gunning still recognized her. Du Jingtong's real name was also in the headlines too. She was stabbed in the heart, so her life was in great danger now. After making sure of it, Gunning called Li Zongwei without hesitation. Hi, Miss Gu, may I help? Li Zongwei was surprised that Gunning would call him all of a sudden. Mr. Li, I just read a piece of news on the internet about Du Jingtong. How's she now? Gunning asked. Not good. Li Zhonghua sounded sad. She has been in the emergency room for six hours, and her life was saved, but she's still unconscious now. Where is she? I need to visit her, Gunning said. Li Zhonghua knew that Gunning didn't get along with Du Jingtong, so he was surprised when Gunning said that. Anyway, since Gunning was willing to visit Du Jingtong, it meant that she didn't bear grudges. Li Zhonghua then told Gunning the address of the hospital where Du Jingtong was. At this time, Li Zhongwei and several of his colleagues were also in the hospital, so he decided to wait for Gunning. Gunning and her two bodyguards took a taxi to the hospital right away. She left her suitcase in the restaurant and would pick it up later, because Gao Yi and Giao Ya stayed by her sides. It wasn't convenient for her to put her stuff in the telepathic eye space. Dot. In an intensive care single room, Du Jingtong was lying on the patient bed with a pale face and weak breath. A middle-aged woman who was her mother sat next to her. Du Jingtong's mother hadn't slept for two days and looked very haggard. Li Zhongwei and his colleagues stood outside, because they weren't allowed to stay in the intensive care room for long. In fact, Li Zhongwei's colleagues could leave before him, but they insisted on waiting for Gunning. Gunning was their idol and they wanted to see her again. It also wasn't time for them to go to work yet. Li Zhongwei said nothing about it and let them stay. About 20 minutes later, Gunning, Gao Yi and Giao Ya showed up. Hi, Miss Gu, nice to see you again. They excitedly greeted her at once. Hi, nice to see you all. Gunning also politely greeted them. After that, Li Zhongwei walked into the ward with Gunning. The others, instead, stayed outside. Mrs. Du, this is Miss Gu, and she came to see Jing Tong. Li Zhongwei said to Du Jingtong's mother, Nice to meet you, Miss Gu. Thank you so much for coming here, Mrs. Du said. She thought that Gunning must be Du Jingtong's friend. My pleasure, Gunning said. Mrs. Du, I can actually help Du Jingtong recover as fast as possible, but are you willing to trust me? Even though Gunning had the thought to help Du Jingtong, she still needed to ask for her family's permission. What? Hearing that, not only were Mrs. Du and Li Zhongwei shocked, but the doctor in the ward was too. Who are you, and who do you think you are? The most experienced doctor in our hospital has checked Du Jingtong's wound in person and even he said that Du Jingtong's life is still in danger now. The doctor said. Mrs. Du felt heartbroken. In fact, she didn't believe that Gunning was able to help Du Jingtong make a full recovery, but she still had hope. She hoped that Du Jingtong could wake up again as soon as possible. I said that I can help her and I mean it. No matter what will happen, I'll bear the responsibility, Gunning said with a serious expression. Can you? The doctor snorted with disdain. Gunning ignored him, and turned to look at Mrs. Du. Mrs. Du, I promise that I can help your daughter wake up again, and the probability is above 90%. If you trust me, please allow me to have a try. If you don't, I can leave right now. Ridiculous. Do you think that you can do magic? The doctor laughed at Gunning again before Mrs. Du said anything. It was his duty not to let other people touch the patient, but his verbal abuse made Gunning feel utterly displeased. However, he was a doctor and he was protecting Du Jingtong, so Gunning didn't bother to argue with him. I trust you, Mrs. Du said all of a sudden. Mrs. Du served in the police system too and she was a senior official. She saw confidence and determination in Gunning's eyes, so she chose to believe Gunning. Although she still had doubt, she wanted to have a try, because she hated to see her daughter waiting to die on the hospital bed. She didn't want to lose her beloved daughter. Chapter 1282, Sorry, I can't tell you. Mrs. Du.
The doctor wanted to stop Mrs. Du but was interrupted by her. Dr. Lin, I'll take the responsibility no matter what happens. Although Li Zongwei also had doubts, he knew that Gunning wouldn't brag about her ability. Therefore, he chose to trust Gunning too. You. The doctor was mad, but she could say nothing about it now since Mrs. Du agreed. She decided to report it to her leader in case anything terrible happened later. After that, she walked out. Mrs. Du said to Gunning at once, Miss Gu, I trust you, so you can do whatever you need to do to help Jiang Tong recover. Sure. Gunning nodded and went to hold Du Jingtong's hand to secretly put her magical power into her body. Du Jingtong was in a very dangerous situation right now. So Gunning decided to help her take a magical pill after she had put some magical power into her body. Mrs. Du and Li Zongwei stood aside and left Gunning enough space. Because Du Jingtong was seriously injured, her body didn't have an obvious change within a short time, but her life was saved after a minute. Afterwards, Gunning withdrew her hand and took out a magical pill before she removed the oxygen mask on Du Jingtong's face. When Gunning did that, Mrs. Du was scared. She was worried that Du Jingtong's life might be in greater danger if the oxygen mask was removed. However, she already chose to trust Gunning, so she remained silent. Once Gunning removed the oxygen mask, she helped Du Jingtong take a magical pill. The magical pill melted the second it was put into Du Jingtong's mouth, so it didn't matter even if she was unconscious. At this time, several people rushed inside, and the man in front of them was the chief physician. The chief physician wanted to criticize Gunning, but Gunning opened her mouth before him. Please don't rush to criticize me now. You can examine the patient first. The chief physician gave Gunning a glance. Although he was dissatisfied with Gunning's behavior, it was indeed more important to check Du Jingtong's condition first. If anything terrible happens to the patient, you'll be put in jail. The chief physician warned Gunning. After that, he moved ahead to check Du Jingtong's body in person. Gunning didn't mind the chief physician's warning, she understood why he did that. What she had done indeed broke the rules. When the chief physician approached the hospital bed, he saw the ripples of the electrocardiograph gradually increase, which meant that the patient's heartbeat was recovering. The chief physician was shocked. The other's sight fell on the electrocardiograph later, and they were all surprised by it. Mrs. Du was thrilled and didn't know what to say now. Well, the chief physician turned to look at Gunning. He couldn't believe that Gunning was able to do that. The chief physician thought that it wasn't time to ask Gunning about it right now. He needed to check Du Jingtong's body first to see whether she was really getting better. Move now. Check the patient's condition. The chief physician gave an order. After doing it, every doctor in the ward was astonished. Du Jingtong was indeed getting better. Her life was also out of danger now. In addition, the wound healed a lot. They couldn't believe their eyes. How is it? Mrs. Du asked with worries. Um, she's getting better and her life is out of danger now. The chief physician said. The next second, he left Mrs. Du behind and walked straight to Gunning. Mrs. Du burst into tears of joy and went to hold Du Jingtong's hand tightly. Li Zongwei also rounded his eyes in shock, looking at the scene. Miss, can you tell me what you've done to Miss Du? How come she got better right away after being injured so seriously? The chief physician stared at Gunning. He had never seen anything like this before, and it felt like a dream, even if he refused to believe it. It was the truth. Sorry, I can't tell you. Gunning shrugged. The chief physician felt disappointed. Gunning was unwilling to tell him, so he didn't ask further about it. Miss, since you have the ability to rescue badly injured people, why don't you teach us so that we can help more people? Dr. Lin questioned Gunning in an unkind tone. She was impressed by Gunning's ability, but she still disliked Gunning's behavior. Why should I do that? You don't have the right to order me to do it. Gunning argued. She disliked the doctor's attitude towards her. You. The doctor was annoyed. Chapter 1283, A Pill. All right, Dr. Lin, don't force other people to do what they don't want to do. The chief physician stopped Dr. Lin at once. Dr. Lin had to close her mouth, but she gave Gunning a glare. Mrs. Du stood up and thanked Gunning with sincerity. Miss Gu. I don't know how to thank you for what you've done. Thank you for rescuing my daughter. Saying that, Mrs. Du bowed to Gunning. Mrs. Du, 
You don't need to do that. Gunning stopped Mrs. Du. Miss Gu, if you need my help in the future, feel free to let me know. I'll spare no effort to help you. Mrs. Du made a promise. Mrs. Du, I don't need anything in return. Du Jingdong is a responsible swat and she asks for nothing when she does her job, Gunning said. Although she wasn't a savior who would save everyone from a dangerous situation, she was willing to help kind people out. Well, Mrs. Du still wanted to do something for Gunning. It's fine, and I'm glad that Du Jingdong is fine now. All right, I should leave now, Gunning said and gave Mrs. Du a smile. Miss Gu, thank you for your kindness. Mrs. Du thanked Gunning again. My pleasure, Gunning said and walked out. Mrs. Du walked her to the door of the ward. Li Zongwei also said goodbye to Mrs. Du and left with Gunning. Li Zongwei's colleagues were greatly surprised after knowing that Gunning had helped Du Jingtong get much better within minutes. They curiously asked Gunning how she was able to do that, but Gunning refused to tell them. Anyway, Gunning left a deeper impression on them this time. In their eyes, Gunning was able to do anything well. Dot. Since Gunning was gone, the chief physician also left. Although he felt it was a shame that he failed to get any useful information from Gunning, he had no intention to force her to tell him the secret. Mrs. Du called Du Jingtong's father afterwards and told him this good news. Du Jingtong's father was thrilled and came to the hospital at once. Even though Du Jingtong's life was still in danger, her father still needed to work as usual. He couldn't ask for leave casually. However, Du Jingtong needed someone to take care of her, so her mother stayed by her side. Dot. The chief physician went to meet the director of the hospital later, and the director was also shocked by what Gunning had done. The director wanted to see Gunning but the chief physician told him that she was already gone. Besides, she was unwilling to share the secret with them. When Li Zongwei walked Gunning out, he found out that Gunning didn't drive there, so he said, Miss Gu, where are you going? Do you want a ride? Thanks, but we'll take a taxi, Gunning said. Since Gunning said that, Li Zongwei didn't insist. He had met Gunning several times, and he knew Gunning's personality. After that, he went to stop a taxi for Gunning. Gunning thanked him and left with her two bodyguards. Once she was gone, several Swats began to talk about her. I'm so surprised that Miss Gu could help Jing Tong recover so soon. Yeah, even the most experienced doctor in the hospital couldn't do that. Li, do you know how Miss Gu did it? A Swat asked Li Zong why all of a sudden. Please, tell us, we promise that we won't tell anyone. The other Swats begged Li Zongwei. I only saw Miss Gu help Jing Tong take a pill, and Jing Tong got much better seconds later, Li Zongwei said, which was all he knew. Therefore, Du Jing Tong got much better because of a pill. What? A pill? No way. Seriously? I can't believe it. They were all shocked, but it was the truth. Dot. About half an hour later, Du Jing Tong's father came. He was excited to see that his daughter was getting much better now. It was highly likely that his daughter would wake up soon. Du Jing Tong only needed to rest for a while longer, but she would have a full recovery. Du Jing Tong's parents decided to stay by her side till she woke up. When Du Jing Tong woke up, she was surprised to know that it was Gunning who had rescued her. Chapter 1284 have a competition with Brave Eagle. She didn't understand why Gunning was still willing to help her after they had such a strong disagreement. She had to admit that Gunning was very generous. At the same time, she was also amazed by Gunning's ability, because her life was still in danger before Gunning came to see her. Du Jingtong began to admire Gunning now. Dot. Gunning left for the capital after staying in City B for a few days. Although Leng Shouting wasn't in the capital, she still called Master Leng and invited him to dine together. She also didn't forget to call Jiang Zong and Master Xu. They were happy to hear from Gunning, and agreed at once. They were going to meet at the same old place. It was only 2 p.m., so Gunning went to the Shengning organization first. Because Gao Yi and Giao Ya stayed by her side, she didn't stay in Leng Shouting's house this time and instead stayed in the house Chen Kang Yai prepared for her. She also asked for a car. Gunning thought that her Lamborghini was too noticeable, so she was reluctant to drive it. She preferred an off-road vehicle, which had more space and was more comfortable. After Gunning arrived at the capital, 
She went to pick up the car. She didn't rush to see Chen Kenyai when she walked into the headquarters of Shengning Organization. Instead, she planned to tour it. Feng Wu Entertainment already moved into this building. It was on the 7th, 8th, and 9th floor of Shengning Tower. Gunning directly went to the 9th floor where the staff of Feng Wu stayed. It was working hours when Gunning came, so everyone was busy with their work. An Empress of Military Blood was being filmed and all the actors were at the movie set now. As the boss of Feng Wu Entertainment, Gunning thought that she should visit them so she decided to do that. The next day, the leading male role in An Empress of Military Blood was a famous and skilled actor, Kiao Hanjin. Gunning heard from Luzan that Kiao Hanjin had been set up by his friend once before and his reputation had been badly damaged. He had been arrested by the police and kept in the prison for several months. Kiao Hanshin wasn't able to work again until he left the entertainment company he worked for. After that, he didn't sign an agreement with another entertainment company, and worked alone. Luckily, Luzan didn't care about Kiao Hanshin's past and liked his acting skills and appearance. Gunning supported Lu Zan and she thought that it wasn't a bad idea to hire Giao Hanjin. When the news that Giao Hanjin became the leading role of an Empress of Military Blood went abroad, his fans definitely felt happy for him, but there were also many other people attacking him on the internet. Dot. Gunning walked around Feng Wu Entertainment for a while, then went to meet Chen Kenyai on the 17th floor. She got the car key and was about to leave. However, a man stopped her in the hall. Hi, boss, nice to meet you, I'm Brave Eagle. Brave Eagle was the killer Kei hired not a long time ago. He always wanted to see Gunning, and finally ran into her today. Brave Eagle, nice to see you, and welcome for joining us. Gunning smiled at him and shook hands with him. Although Brave Eagle worked for her, he was an outstanding worker, so Gunning paid more attention to him. Brave Eagle was surprised that Gunning was so nice to him. Boss, do you have time now? Can we have a competition of fighting skills for fun? Brave Eagle said. He had asked Kay for permission, and Kay said that Gunning agreed, so he didn't want to miss the chance today. Sure, let's go to the dance room. Gunning nodded, since she already agreed, she wouldn't turn him down. She was free now anyway. Hearing that, Brave Eagle was excited. After that, they went to the seventh floor together. There were several dance rooms on the seventh floor. Some of them had a mat on the floor, so they chose a dance room with a mat to have the competition. Once they were ready, the competition began. Gunning was trying to make Brave Eagle believe that she was qualified to be his leader so she wouldn't hesitate to use her full strength. Brave Eagle understood that Gunning wasn't a weak girl after watching many videos of her on the internet. He didn't think that he was able to do the same things as her. In the first half minute, they seemed to be at the same level, but Gunning soon got control of the competition a few seconds later. Chapter 1285, Find Magical Power, one and half a minute later, he lost. Boss, you're really unbelievable. Brave Eagle said. Gunning smiled and said nothing. After that, she left with her two bodyguards and went to the house that Chen Kenyai prepared for her, which was their new home. It wasn't far from the headquarters of the Shengning organization, but it took about half an hour to get the by car. Gunning could buy a house which was a lot closer, but there weren't good houses nearby. Since Gunning was going to live here for a long time, she preferred to buy a beautiful and comfortable house. Therefore, Chen Kenyai chose a house for her in Century City, and her neighbors were either rich or powerful. Gunning's house was of medium size, and it was about 400 square meters large along with a garden. It actually wasn't a luxurious house when compared with Gunning's wealth. Gao Yi and Giao Ya's house was right next to Gunning's. The house was given to them by Gunning. Even though Gao Yi and Giao Ya didn't lack money at all, Gunning did that to show that she cared about them. Gunning only gave a house to those who she thought were important in her life. In addition, Gao Yi and Giao Ya were her bodyguards, so it was convenient for them to protect her if they could live next door to her. If Gao Yi and Giao Ya were going to be married and start a family on their own, Gunning would support them without doubt. Maybe they didn't have that idea right now. But Gunning wouldn't force them to be her bodyguards forever. Other than a Land Rover that they brought from City F. There was a jeep in the garage, which was also prepared by Chen Kenyai. Gunning often moved around alone, so she needed a car for herself. She normally drove the Land Rover, 
so Gao Yi or Kiao Ya could use the jeep. The two houses were already cleaned, and they could directly move in. Before they moved into Century City, Gunning went back to the restaurant to pick up her suitcase. After picking up her suitcase, it was 4 p.m. Gunning rested for an hour in her new home, then left for the appointed place to meet Master Leng. They were going to meet in a mountain villa. It was almost 5.30 p.m. when she arrived there, and Master Leng along with his old friends came a while later. They were very excited to see Gunning. Hi, Ning Ning, been a while. We've heard about what you've done a few days ago, and we think you did the right thing, Master Leng said the second he saw Gunning. Master Leng hated the exchange student from Country R2. If he had been there, he would have been more violent. Master Leng paid a lot of attention to the latest news about Gunning on the internet, so he was able to know what she was doing recently. Although Gunning had been a little violent, he didn't think it was a big deal. The exchange student from Country R was very rude and aggressive, and he asked for the result himself. Gunning was Master Leng's future granddaughter-in-law, so Master Leng cared about her safety. If Leng Shouting found out about it, he would punish the exchange student as well. Right, the young man from Country R is too shameless and rude. He should learn how to behave himself, Jiang Zong has said. Master Xu nodded and agreed. Gunning felt warm when Master Leng didn't criticize her. It wasn't legal according to the law after all, and she thought that Master Leng might criticize her. After having dinner, Gunning walked them to their cars before she left. Gunning hadn't heard from Leng shouting for many days, but she didn't call him either, because she knew he must be busy. As long as Leng shouting was free. He would call her. Gunning understood that Leng Shouting's job was very special, but she was also worried about his safety. However, she wouldn't force Leng Shouting to change jobs, because it was Leng Shouting's career. Gunning slept in her new home tonight, but it wasn't easy for her to fall asleep. However, although she didn't sleep well, she still got up early the next morning and went to run around the block. There were many green plants in Century City so the air was very fresh. When Gunning passed by a pond, she felt magical power all of a sudden and stopped at once. Chapter 1286, Run into Bailey Zong Yun, Gunning's eyes fell across the pond on a young man who was meditating in a gazebo in front of the jungle beside the rock garden. He looked very young and handsome, and the magical power came from his body. He had the same magical power as Dong Feng Zhu, which meant that he was a cultivator too. The man sensed Gunning's gaze, but he didn't feel it was strange, because many people paid attention to him when he was meditating. However, he couldn't help but look to Gunning this time. The second he opened his eyes, he met Gunning's eyes. He was amazed by Gunning's beauty the next second. At the same time, he recognized Gunning as the famous goddess Gu on the internet. She was also the real boss of the colorful jade provider that he was looking for. To his surprise, Gunning was much younger and more attractive than he thought. Gunning moved her eyes away when the man noticed her and she ran ahead to avoid seeing him. However, since Gunning was the person he was looking for, he definitely wouldn't let her disappear. Before long, the man caught up with Gunning, which surprised Gunning. Hi, you must be the famous goddess Gu on the internet, right? The man asked. Yeah, I am. Gunning stopped. She was very famous now so it was very normal that some people would come to strike up a conversation with her on the road. Nevertheless, Gunning was aware that this man was a cultivator, so he must have come to talk to her for a reason. Cultivators loved Jade, and Gunning was curious to know more about them. I really admire you because you were able to achieve a lot at such an early age, the man said. Thanks. Gunning smiled at him. My name's Bailey Zong Ying, and it's my honor to see you today. If you don't mind we can be friends. Please don't worry, I'm not a bad man. I'm a businessman too, and we might cooperate in the future. The man introduced himself. Bailey Zong Yun. Gunning was struck dumb for a second. Bailey Zong Yun was the man Dong Feng had talked about before. It was said that he was the sexiest, richest, and most handsome man in the cultivation world. In Gunning's eyes, Bailey Zong Yun was indeed very handsome and attractive, but she didn't know much about his family background. Actually, Bailey Zong Yun was the eldest grandson of the Bailey family in the cultivation world. He was also the sole heir of the Bailey family. His younger sister, Bailey Zong Xu was supposed to approach Gunning, but he was unwilling to miss today's chance to meet Gunning. Moreover, he wanted to get more quality jade from Gunning. Why not? 
Gunning said. After that, they exchanged phone numbers with each other. Bailey Zongyan was the deputy manager in his family jewelry business now. He didn't want to be the general manager because he needed a lot of time to practice his cultivation. Although Bailey Zongyan was only a deputy manager, he was more powerful than the general manager. This jewelry company was owned by his family after all. The senior management of the company was aware of it. Oh, do you live in Century City as well? Bailey Zongyang asked. Bailey Zongyang already had the answer in his mind, but he needed to make sure of it. Yes, Gunning answered. Hearing that, Bailey Zongyang's eyes lit up. I live here too, and I just moved in. What a coincidence. Gunning smiled and agreed. After chatting for a while, Gunning left. She went back to her new home and took a shower. Giao Ya called Gunning and told her that the breakfast was ready. Gunning then went to have breakfast with Giao Ya. At 9 a.m., they left home. They went to the Hengdian World Studios to visit the crew of an Empress of Military Blood, and they drove Jeep this time. The Hengdian World Studios was far from the city center, so they spent an hour on the road. Gunning called Luzan before she set off because she needed to know his specific location. Many film and TV crews were shooting in Hengdian World Studios at the same time, so it wasn't easy to find one particular crew. Chapter 1287, Emotions Don't Lie There were many extras waiting for a chance outside the Hengdian World Studios. Many people had a dream of becoming a star, but they lacked connections and luck so they could only be extras. It was hard for an extra to show his or her face in a film, let alone be famous. Everyone needed to buy a ticket to get into the Hengdian World Studios, and a parking ticket for a car. Hengdian World Studios was very large, and each site was far from another, so Gunning also bought a map. This was the first time she was here after all. Before long, Gunning and her two bodyguards arrived at the film site of an Empress of Military Blood. But their car couldn't enter, so they could only walk inside. Because Gunning came here as the investor, she didn't dress casually today. When she put on a pair of high heels, she was too noticeable and attractive to be ignored. So once she stepped out of the car, she attracted a lot of attention from the people around her. Several people took out their phones to take photos of Gunning at once. Wow, she's so beautiful. Is she an actress? No idea. But she's even prettier than all the actresses I've seen before. I think that given her outstanding appearance she can be popular soon if she's really an actress. Dot. There were countless beautiful men and women in the entertainment industry, but Gunning was still more noticeable than them. Gunning and her two bodyguards soon walked inside. The film site of an empress of military blood was in a palace. Gunning didn't see it screw until she had walked through many gates. They were going to shoot a dining scene today. So many major roles were waiting in the lounge. Extras and unimportant actors, however, could only wait outside. Therefore, Luzan didn't see Gunning when she came over because there were too many people around them. The current scene was an action scene. A woman disguised herself as a maid to murder one of Emperor's concubines. Both of them were good at kung fu, so they needed to use wires. However, the actress who played the role of the assassin had acrophobia. So she made mistakes once she was lifted up high in the air. Luzan was displeased and lost his patience. Although this assassin wasn't an important role, it was shown many times in the scene. The actress actually acted well normally, but she couldn't conquer her fear when she was in the air. Because this actress was a contributing actor, there was no body double for her so she had to finish the scene on her own. Luzan was the director and he normally didn't allow actors to use a body double in his crew unless it was necessary. Gunning walked into the crowd and watched aside. Then she heard a girl saying, Come on, if she's afraid of wire work, she shouldn't be an actress. You were the top one on the list, but she used a dirty trick to make you miss the chance. You took her as your friend, but she didn't hesitate to set you up once you have a conflict of interest. This girl was a little fat, but wasn't ugly. Instead, she looked quite adorable. She was talking to another girl who was tall and beautiful. Both of them were very young and in their early twenties. Before this fat girl could finish, the other girl interrupted her. All right, all right, stop saying that again. I don't want other people to hear it. Although I lost a role, I got a great chance to clearly see what kind of person she is. In fact, she was unwilling to accept the result, but it was what it was now. Even though this role wasn't important, 
the actress could show her face in front of the camera, which was a great opportunity for contributing actors. Most importantly, it was a fair game to choose actors in the crew of an Empress of Military Blood, and she was the top one on the list, while her friend was ranked next to her, so she became the stumbling block in her friend's eyes. In the beginning, she didn't understand why her friend went to the audition of the same role as her, but she said nothing, because everyone had a chance to compete for the roles. However, to her astonishment, her friend trapped her in order to get the role. Gunning squinted at the actress who kept making mistakes after hearing their conversation. She didn't expect that someone would play a dirty trick to get a role in the film invested by her. Gunning didn't doubt the fat girl's words, because the fat girl said it in a very low voice. In addition, emotions didn't lie, and the fat girl was obviously very mad. Chapter 1288 let her have a try. Jank Sioya, if you can't finish the scene, we have to replace you, Luzan said at this moment. He had a high standard of his work, and he couldn't tolerate it when an actress kept making mistakes. He had many other choices as the director. Director Lu, please give me another chance. I. Jank Sioya begged Luzan. However, even her voice was trembling now. I've given you many chances, but your performance disappoints me, Luzan said. All right you can go now. I'll tell the finance worker to pay you the remuneration you deserve. Jank Sioya was reluctant to accept it, but she didn't know what to say now. Director Lu, let her have a dry. Gunning opened her mouth all of a sudden. Many people heard her voice and turned to look at her. The second they saw her, they were amazed by her beauty. Jank Sioya changed her face when Gunning recommended her friend to replace her. The girl was surprised too because she didn't know Gunning at all. Many people who worked here had worked in the crew of Infinite Horror as well, so they recognized Gunning at once. They were excited to see Gunning because Gunning was their idol and boss. Luzan didn't rush to greet Gunning right now in case Gunning didn't want to expose her real identity. However, since it was Gunning's recommendation, he couldn't turn her down. Fine, come here, he said to the girl. This role wasn't important but he still needed to see the girl's performance before he made the decision. Luzan's response shocked everyone again, because they didn't know Gunning's relationship with him. The girl couldn't believe her ears and was full of excitement. Jank Sioya was totally shocked and hated the girl more than ever. She could accept it if another girl replaced her, but she was unwilling to see her friend replace her. Miojia, go. The fat girl pushed the girl, whose name was Lee Miojia forward. It seemed that she was more excited than her friend. She believed that Lee Miojia could get the role. Lee Miojia thanked Gunning before she walked to Luzan, and the fat girl followed her. Nice to see you, Director Lu. My name's Lee Miojia. Thank you so much for giving me this chance, Lee Miojia said to Luzan. Go put on makeup and clothing now. Whether you can get this role depends on you, Luzan said. I understand. Lee Miojia smiled. After that, she went to put on makeup and change clothing. When Li Miojia walked by Jank Sioya, she stayed calm and said nothing. Jank Sioya, on the other hand, was full of hatred towards Li Miojia. Unfortunately, she could do nothing about it now. She had been fired and replaced by Li Miojia. What are you still doing here? Go now. Luzan shouted at Jank Sioya. Jank Sioya had to leave. Gunning walked to Luzan at this time. I just heard from the fat girl that Lee Miojia was the top one on the list for this role, but she had a bad stomachache and missed the chance. I think she deserves a second chance. Gunning was telling Luzan that Lee Miojia was merely a stranger to her, so Luzan could make the decision without considering her influence. Well, let's see how her performance with the wire work is. Luzan said. When other people saw Gunning talking with Luzan, they realized that they were close to each other. Luzan asked Gunning later. Did you come here as the investor or a visitor? He didn't know how to greet Gunning now. Gunning smiled. As the investor. Great. Luzan also smiled. Boss. Do whatever you want. I need to go back to work now. Sure. Gunning said. Afterwards, Gunning left to see the leading actors. All the leading actors had their own lounge which was also a makeup room. When a makeup artist was about to put makeup on Lee Miojia's face, Jank Sioya walked over. Yang Yang, who was the fat girl, gave her a cold glance, 
but said nothing. Li Miojia directly ignored Jiang Xioyu. Jiang Xioyu was mad and dashed in front of Li Miojia and questioned her. Li Miojia, did you do it on purpose? Why did you come here today? Why did you compete against me for this role? Are you getting revenge on me? Other people in the makeup room were surprised and turned to look at them. Chapter 1289 Jiang Xioya is jealous of Li Miojia. They didn't know the truth, so they thought that Li Miojia had stolen the role from Jiang Xioya and looked at Li Miojia with disdain. It wasn't uncommon in the entertainment industry, but people still hated it. Jiang Xioya, don't you know what you did to Miojia behind her back? You were fired by the director, and Miojia was recommended to the director. Yang Yang argued. She was afraid that Li Miojia's reputation might be damaged by Jiang Xioya's words. Although Li Miojia wasn't famous now, she could be famous in the future. In fact, Li Miojia had an outstanding appearance and good acting skills, so it wouldn't be difficult for her to become an A-list actress as long as she had powerful support and luck. Once Li Miojia became famous, Jiang Xioya's slander would be a stain on her past. Other people then began to look at Jiang Xioya with disdain. She was fired directly by the director, then Li Miojia was recommended to the director. It was completely different. In that case, Jiang Xioya shouldn't blame Li Miojia. You. Jiang Xioya was mad, but she couldn't deny the truth. In addition, why should Miojia get revenge on you? Aren't you clear about the reason? Yang Yang said loudly. Only the three of them were aware of Jiang Xioya's dirty trick. If anyone else found out about it, Jiang Xioya's reputation would be ruined and nobody would hire her again. Other people in the room were confused. Bullshit. Jiang Xioya panicked a little. Nevertheless, although she denied it, her reaction proved everything. Yang Yang, enough, I need to work now. Li Miyoji stopped Yang Yang because she didn't want to waste time on arguing. Yang Yang then closed her mouth. Jiang Xioya didn't dare to criticize Li Miyoji again in case her dirty trick was exposed, so she left soon. However, she didn't go far, but stood in the crowd. She was still curious to see Li Miyoji's performance. Dot. Gunning went to lounge number one, where Tang Xio Xiao, Han Leng Xuan, Bei Ai Lin and Su Tong Nguo stayed. They were all happy to see Gunning, because it was Gunning who had changed their lives. Tang Xiao Xiao and Su Tong Nguo were already working for Gunning, and Han Leng Xuan along with Bei Island would soon join them. They got along well with each other, and didn't bother to attack one another. Gunning only wanted people who were beautiful both on the interior and exterior. She didn't allow her people to play dirty tricks in her companies. Tang Xiao Xiao and Su Tong Nyu were going to act in the next scene, but they needed to wait for a while longer because of what had just happened. They didn't care and were willing to stay in the lounge for a while longer. In addition, they could chat with Gunning. Dot. Li Miojia didn't need to wear too much makeup. So she walked out half an hour later. Because she was beautiful, she looked very attractive even if she only put on a little makeup. Li Miojia was very satisfied with her appearance. Jiang Xioya, on the other hand, was super jealous of Li Miojia now. She had to admit that Li Miojia was much prettier than her, which was exactly the reason why she was jealous of Li Miojia. Gunning chatted with Tang Xio Xiao and the other actors in the lounge for nearly half an hour. When the scene was about to be shot, Lu Yikun came to ask her whether she wanted to see it. Gunning walked out with Tang Xio Xia and the other actors. Since she recommended Li Miojia, she definitely needed to see her performance. Visitors got excited the moment they showed up, because they were all famous actors now, and it wasn't easy for ordinary people to see famous actors. Some extras and contributing actors were also looking forward to meeting some famous actors. At the same time, they were curious to know Gunning's identity. Gunning seemed very close to the director, and she was able to stay with the leading actors in the same room so she couldn't be an ordinary person. Li Miojia was surprised when she saw Gunning walking out with those leading roles. She didn't realize that Gunning wasn't an ordinary girl until now. Oh, isn't it Goddess Gu? What is she doing here? Someone recognized Gunning and exclaimed excitedly. It was obvious that she was one of Gunning's fans. I'm so excited. The girl's friend said. Goddess Gu, who is Goddess Gu? Someone asked them curiously. Chapter 1290, Li Miojia gets the role. The girl with a ponytail right next to Tang Xioxiao. 
one girl answered with admiration. Goddess Gu is even more beautiful than her photos. Right, I'm in love now. Ha ha, ha ha. Who is she? Why do you call her Goddess Gu? Another person asked again. Is she a star or something? She isn't. But she's more famous and popular than a star. She's the boss of Feng Wu Entertainment and this TV series was invested in by Feng Wu, someone said. She was Gunning's fan, and she felt proud of Gunning. What? She looks so young. Many people were shocked by the fact that Gunning was the boss of Feng Wu Entertainment. Jiang Xioya also rounded her eyes in shock. It was very hard for her to accept because the boss of Feng Wu Entertainment recommended Li Miojia to direct a Lu in person. Li Miojia was much luckier than her. Jiang Xioya was hit heavily. If the boss of Feng Wu Entertainment liked Li Miojia, Li Miojia could become famous in the future. Actually, not many actors without fame could be chosen by successful entertainment companies, because they didn't have much business value. They had to find jobs on their own. Jiang Xioya also wanted to sign a contract with an entertainment company, but she didn't have the chance. On the other hand, Li Miojia was recommended by the boss of Feng Wu Entertainment right in front of her. Although Feng Wu Entertainment wasn't very large right now, it was a well-known company in the industry. In addition, Tang Xiaoxiao joined Feng Wu Entertainment not a long time ago. Therefore, Feng Wu Entertainment had a bright future ahead. When they were talking about Gunning, a staff member walked over and said, Quiet now, we're about to shoot the scene. Since they came here to watch the shooting, they had to obey the rules. Within seconds, they fell into silence. Gunning went to sit on the chair next to Lu Zong. Tang Xioxia and the other actors sat behind them. The visitors stood far from them, so they didn't hear their discussions. Li Miojia was going to try the wire work first. If she was able to do it well, she might get the role. Li Miojia had played several roles in action films before, so she was already used to wire work. The second the cameras were on, Li Miojia began to act. Although her movements in the air weren't perfect, she finished the scene very well. After that, she acted with another actress for a while. Her movements, expressions, and lines were very professional and even overshadowed the other actress. Luzan nodded with satisfaction after watching Li Miojia's performance. Once the cameras were off, Li Miojia went back to normal. Very well. You can sign the contract now before you join us, Luzan said. Hearing that, Jiang Xioya was full of jealousy. In fact, if she stayed here, she would only feel disappointed but she couldn't help paying attention to Li Miojia. Even if she lost the role this time, she wouldn't give up acting. Instead, she made up her mind to work harder and surpass Li Miojia. She wouldn't allow Li Miojia to be more successful than her, and she was willing to do everything in order to be more famous than Li Miojia. Jealousy really made her ugly. Dot. Li Miojia repeatedly thanked Luzan when she heard Luzan's compliment. She didn't forget to thank Gunning as well. Thank you so much, Miss Gu. You're welcome. I believe in you, Gunning said to encourage her. Thanks. Li Miojia smiled. After that, Li Miojia went to read the contract. I think this girl is promising, Tang Xioxiao said. Right, she can become popular very soon as long as she has a few good roles. Luzan said. Luzan was an experienced director, so he was confident about his choice. Even though Li Miojia wasn't compared to those leading roles, she was very outstanding among new actors. It wasn't easy for an actor to gain Luzan's compliment. Since you all think highly of her, pay more attention to her. If she's really a good actress, I'll consider signing a contract with her, Gunning said. She had a good impression of Li Miojia, and was willing to hire her. Compared with famous actors, she preferred to discover skilled potential new actors, 